Okay, let's take a test drive. Miss Nissan Sakura, so cute, pure EV. It's G grade front wheel drive. I am Ken Pack Daddy, and you're watching Daddy Family Car. Now let's get in. As I play the previous chapter, this quality is superb. Super superb. Press the power button. Activate. Now it's time to go. My first impression when it moves on, I was like, what? Okay, okay, it's no longer a B segment car. It's not a K car. This seems to be promising, yeah? I'll tell you more about the right view later. First, let's pick up the few points about utilities. The display is very easy to check the intimation, but the resolution of the reverse view is still poor. If I can check that something moving, it's enough. But recently, cars have very high resolution, so it's a little disappointing. Once people taste something good, become greedy. Hmm, forgive me. Also, and this is a bad point, when I open and close the window, the motor causes the door lining to rise up and down. Aha, uh -huh, the door must be flimsy. I forgot about it because of the nice interior. Uh, but now I remember. Thank you. It makes me a little sad. Please improve next time. Next, visibility. Despite its small body, the visibility is quite clear. The A pillar is not in the way and the rear. The wipers are also hidden. Mm, pretty good. It's nice to be able to drive a narrow road like this with ease. In the countryside, on mountain roads, or in the downtown. It will be a great help. Steering for you is easy to handle with straight line stability. However, it may be too light and slightly unsetting. Of course, there is no lattling, but the lightness is noticeable when driving over dent or bumpy roads. The minimum turning radius is 4.8 meters, which is nice, but I thought K cars were supposed to turn more than that. Uh, 4.0 or so. Huh? Dreaming too much? But the Honda E I used to drive was uh, 4.3, maybe. And this is my personal opinion, but this two-spoke design steering is hard to understand which way it's facing, even if you turn it upside down. Huh? What are you talking about? You think? Well, well, well. Don't lick the recognition of the putty panicked grandmother. When she is parking, she will say, Oh dear, what's up the tires now? Are they straight? She often confused. It would be nice to have center marking, a uh, cherry blossom symbol or not. Switching the electric brake hole is so smooth and I cannot recognize. So silky, wonderful. The e-pedal regenerative braking force is depends on the speed, but the speed range of 40 to 60, it seems to be too, too strong. Well, it depends on the driver, I know, but it's strong for me who wants to slow down from the long range. The accelerate is your surprise. Powerful! With 195 Nm of torque, about twice as much as regular turbo engine. She did a wheel spin! <laughs> I was a little freaked out. But being surprised means being scared, so I don't recommend stomping on it. One advantage is that it's an electric motor, so it can accelerate from any speed range. With a swoosh, it's easy to accelerate when merging at the highway, which is a complaint about K car with less power. Uh, now then, about right feel. This is almost like B segment car. The chassis is based on the Nissan days. But there is a battery under the floor and three reinforcement have been added, so the rigidity has been increased significantly. Therefore, the torsional rigidity in the horizontal direction is very good. On the other hand, the vertical rigidity and the end of swaying are not so good, I felt. So it runs very flat and turns very stable. It will drive on the highway with no worries. But, well, considering the power efficiency, I think it's better not to drive on the highway all the time. It depends on the system, but the faster an electric motor runs, the less efficient it is. 
I think the battery will run out in no time. Now, people who love cars, and by extension who watch a lot of car video on YouTube, you guys, do you want a K car? I'm not sure that you wouldn't say, yay! We know that K cars have their own charm, but why? Yes, I know. Overdoing engine is noisy, it has no power, the interior is too cheap to begin with. I think there are the three major disadvantages of K car. This is the reason why I dislike K cars too, except for a few. So, how about this Nissan Sakura? Noisy? It's not. Less power? It's not. Uh, too cheap? It's not. I don't know, that's strange. The things you dislike about what's gone, isn't it? <clears throat> Damning you little. Yes, this means a huge expansion of the customer base for K cars. I think this Sakura is not a revolutionary EV, but I would say it's a revolutionary K EV. Ugh, I'm thirsty. Uh, about noise level. It was so quiet. What the hell? Honestly, it's quieter than my car. My own car. <laughs> it's painful. I felt there is less road noise due to the battery under the floor. But well, low frequency noise comes in. The roof is also covered with sound insulation. So it's quiet on both the top and the bottom. The front is not as quiet as the rest of the house. There is no engine, so I guess they didn't care that much. For the safety of your family, let's check out the safety features. One sort of supporting feature is Biku Dynamics Control. Mm, to put it simply, that controls wobbly driving. This feature is a must for K cars, as they are easily knocked about by crosswinds. Now EVs still use lithium-ion batteries, so battery fires are becoming a concern. Incidentally, the national regulations for batteries are getting tighter and tighter every year, and the skewering test is being conducted to see how easy it is to start fire. This test seems to be have an aspect of whether the passenger has time to escape before the fire. Of course, this Sakura has cleared it with plenty of time to spare. Yay! Oh, and I'm also looking forward to Nissan's mass-producing all individual batteries. The airbags are mounted in total of seven locations. Driver, driver's knee, passenger, side, and curtains. Hmm, well done. J and Cap mean Japan New Car Assessment Program crash test results have not been released yet in November 2022. As a reference, the Nissan Days has been rated 5 stars, both collision safety and preventive safety performance. 5 star for K car is a pretty remarkable result. Now the test drive is finished, thank you! Finally, two samurai, this new Nissan Sakura. It's a new category. It has high quality interior, low center of gravity, powerful, and quiet. It erased all the bad points of the previous K car in one shot. Mm, you win. A game changer on the street. With Tokyo's EV subsidy, it's also possible to purchase them quite at a reasonable price. EVs are not easily popular among Japanese who have become accustomed to those salaries for about 30 years. As a result, Japan has fallen far behind in EV development in the eyes of the world. This Sakura is a great choice for urban center, countryside, sightseeing car sharing, and everything in between. It could be a trigger for the EV market, which has been slow to take off. Not a great family car, but... The stray's capacity and door openings are a bit lacking for families with a newborn baby. It's just right for families with grown children or for senior citizens whose children have left home on their own. However, it's a rare K car that is not just a meaning of transportation, but an exciting and enjoyable experience. Thank you for watching and sorry for my confusing English. 
I'm trying to improve my English, but if you like this video, please subscribe. Now to daddy and mommies around the world, good job today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.